If you want to avoid losing easy marks in your physics GCSE, then you need to watch this video for my eight things that students commonly do that cost them marks. First one is by saying vague terms like environmentally friendly when talking about the topic of, for example, renewable energy or fossil fuels. So people would say, oh, wind turbines and solar power is, is environmentally friendly. However, it is not on mark schemes. It will not come up on mark schemes in your exam. You will need to say something like uh, they do not release carbon dioxide or they do not contribute to global warming or climate change the specific answer you need to say is what gets you the mark here if you are talking about something um, let's say for example a hydroelectric power station uh, again don't say about environmentally friendly you might say about it not destroying habitats or something like that Next thing we're going to talk about and next thing which we don't say in exams uh, is something that comes up in chemistry as well and biology is saying the word amount. So if you are talking about a practical, for example, you don't just say uh, pour in an amount of water or put this amount of something on a uh, uh, in a beaker or on a scale, something like that. You need to be specific um, in particular with these practical uh, questions when you're talking about what you're measuring. So, for example, volume or mass. If it's volume of liquid, that's what goes into a measuring cylinder or a beaker. If it's mass, you do that by putting it on the scales. Um, that is really, really important. You're being specific. Uh, the next thing which uh, students, I think personally, uh, you overuse a lot um, is when talking about disadvantages of something, in particular, let's say energy generation, uh, renewable energy, um, is that something is expensive. Now, it's just, it not, might not be wrong, but it's not specific enough uh, really to get marks here. So for example, a nuclear power station is expensive. So is a coal power station. So what you need to say is why is it expensive? So for example, for nuclear power, you'd say, it's expensive to decommission, uh, which means to shut down the power station and to, to deal with, uh, dispose of the radioactive waste. Um, you could say about um, wind turbines as well. Wind turbines are expensive, but it's not just because they're expensive. It's because it's expensive to build enough um, to kind of meet the demand of the UK national grid. So you can't just say it's expensive. You've got to say, why is it expensive? Is it to build a lot of them? Um, is it because there's specific costs associated with building the nuclear power station, for example? Next thing we're going to talk about, and this comes up with every question, and obviously this is in all of science as well, is don't repeat the question in your answer. You won't lose marks for doing that. However, if you just answer the question instead of repeating it, you are more likely to have more space to answer the question properly. So let's look at this question here. It says it's unlikely all electricity the UK needs can be generated by solar power systems. Explain why. I'm not interested in the context for this question, but just look how much space it takes me to write out the answer if I'm doing it in a full sentence. I haven't even answered the question yet. Yet. I've just started the answer. It's unlikely that all uh, electricity will be met by solar power stations because and I've only got one line left, but I've got two marks to get. So please don't do it because you're going to run out of space, especially if you've got big handwriting. Okay, And you also uh, means that you can essentially answer um, with like uh, two points if there's two points on the mark scheme. Okay, So don't do it even for a six marker. If you mention the question, your answer It's not wrong. It just means you have less space to answer and get to your marks and miss out on easy marks. Okay, the next thing uh, we're going to talk about um, is another, like, don't uh, do something, but this time it's not don't say, it's going to be a don't copy an equation incorrectly. So uh, you should be getting the marks on uh, 2024, you get the equation sheet, you shouldn't lose marks on copying the equation, but please be aware there are some equations that are tricky, um, and you don't want to lose marks for putting in your answer an equation, and you missed out a squared, or you missed out a half, or something like that. It happens more often than you think, especially when you're rushing, you've got a long exam. So let's say this example here, got kinetic energy equation, half mv squared. If in your answer you just forget to square the speed, uh, you won't get marks for it because the equation's on the equation sheet, okay? So you're going to get a zero for that question. So please double check your answers, especially if it's a more complex equation. Uh, make sure you're actually squaring um, something if you need to do that. So you shouldn't be losing marks for that one. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about um, is a don't uh, use the word it um, as the first word of an answer, unless it's a very, very, very obvious what the question is asking. Now, I'll give you an example in a second, but the idea is if you have a question about something, um, make sure you use the actual key term in the answer, because the question could be talking about two or three different things. So um, let me give you uh, an example here. So this is about um, uh, the specific heat capacity equation. Um, it says some thermal energy is transferred to the surroundings while the water was heated. Explain how it's affected the student's value for specific latent heat. Now, if you say the word it here, you could be referring to the latent heat. You could be referring to thermal energy. You could be referring to the water. But if you want to get the market, the question is asking about specific latent heat. You mentioned specific latent heat. 
This applies also with graphs in terms of how specific you're being. So please don't say it or the line or it levels off or it plateaus. None of those you'll see in any mark schemes uh, for GCSE, uh, not for a long time. So what you should say instead is the key term the question is asking about. Now on a graph, that would be the labels of the axes. So you'd be specific about what you're talking about. So let's have a look at this graph question here. Um, now it's a curved graph that goes down in the middle. It talks about how um, frequency, how the current uh, varies with frequency in particular maximum current so you wouldn't just say the line is lowest at 50 Hertz because what is the line the line represents this thing on the y-axis it talks about the maximum current at which a person can let go so even though that'll take you a little bit of time to write out that is what will come up on the mark scheme for describing what's going on so you don't say the graph or the line here you'd say the maximum current is lowest at about 50 Hertz I hope you found those useful um, and uh, please look at my rest of the videos for other uh, things that will get you marks on an exam